For me, there are few pleasures in life better than slow cooked short ribs. Today we'll put a twist on the way they're traditionally cooked and add a slightly sweet and tart glaze plus a crunchy condiment for added texture and flavor. Today in the test kitchen, slow roasted short ribs with pistachio and cashew duca. A slow braised short rib is a near perfect preparation, but we can get them just as tender while concentrating the beef flavor. A spicy pomegranate glaze will give them a sweet and sticky texture, plus we'll top them with a nutty condiment that you won't want to miss. Now let's get into these short ribs. Well, actually, I'm just gonna set those aside for a minute while we prep the ginger and garlic for the glaze. You'll need a small saucepan. Then, just crush two cloves of garlic and you can leave the skin on. We're just trying to open up the flavor of the garlic. Next, rough chop some ginger. You don't really need to worry about peeling anything because this will be strained out of the glaze later. Set all that in the saucepan and we'll start working on these ribs. This is a beautiful piece of certified Angus beef chuck short ribs. This is a whole four bone section and you may need to special order this from your grocery store's meat department and not all short ribs are created equal. Make sure to buy certified Angus beef if you want the best. In a normal braising process, I would leave a lot of this fat on since it'll be seared and slow cooked and a lot would render out. For this method, however, you wanna trim some of the fat and silver skin that is on top of these short ribs. Since there's no initial sear, you'll just wanna shave down some of that surface fat. Next, we'll make the spice rub. Combine some coarse salt, cracked pepper, coriander, and cumin and mix well to incorporate. You'll wanna cut this whole piece into individual ribs before seasoning. This will open up more surface area to cover with the spice rub. It's easiest to cut them with the bone side facing up so that you can cut between each rib precisely. And take a second to admire that marbling though. The coriander and cumin in this rub tie nicely with the flavor of the duca topping since we use these spices again in that mix. Make sure to coat the ribs well with the spice rub and place them in a deep roasting pan because these boys are thick and you're gonna need high size. Once all the ribs are in the pan, add half a cup of water and cover with foil. The water will produce a little bit of steam and prevent the short ribs from drying out while cooking. This is like a hybrid cooking method of braising and roasting. Now, the short ribs will go into a preheated 325 degree oven for two and a half to three hours. While the short ribs are in the oven, we can finish preparing our glaze and duca. In the saucepan with the ginger and garlic, we'll add a quarter cup of honey. Go ahead and just eyeball that one. A half teaspoon of red pepper flakes and one and a half cups of pomegranate juice. The pomegranate juice has a nice acidity, which helps cut through the richness of the short rib. Bring to a simmer and allow to reduce. While it simmers, all the flavors will infuse and it will thicken to a nice sticky glaze for these ribs. As the glaze reduces, we can toast the nuts for the duca. This is a mixture of pistachios and cashews, which will add some great flavor and really nice texture to these ribs. Toast over a medium heat for a few minutes until they start to brown and they'll smell a little toasty. Get those into a food processor and we'll start toasting some sesame seeds. It's important not to walk away from these because they'll toast extremely quick. Remove from the heat and add cumin and coriander. The spices will toast off the residual heat of the pan and it will only take a second. When adding the seeds, make sure to scrape any spice that's stuck to the pan. Now we'll pulse this into small pieces. You wanna keep it fairly chunky so that you have a nice texture of the crunchy nuts. Pulse in small increments because you don't wanna end up with cashew butter. And there's our duca. Toasting the ingredients beforehand really brings out all the flavor and wakes up the natural oils from the nuts, seeds, and spices. This topping has great flavor, color, and you can't beat the added texture to a tender short rib. The final volume of the glaze should be around half a cup. This has been searing at a low temperature for about 20 minutes and looks perfect. We'll strain out all the solids because they have infused with the reduced juice and we want a smooth and sticky glaze. Here we have our short ribs. Now they've been cooking with a little bit of that water, but you can see now a lot of that water's evaporated and it's just kind of some of the juices and fat rendered down. They're a little bit gray, but that's okay because now we're going into a hotter oven. I have the oven preheated to 400 degrees, so we will glaze these and get them into the oven and repeatedly glaze them to create that kind of sticky bark on the outside 
that'll just make these fantastic. Line a sheet pan with foil before broiling these ribs. There will be a sticky glaze dripping down the sides, and this will make cleanup much easier because this will get messy. Brush on your first application of the pomegranate glaze. You will want to coat all the sides so it creates a sticky coating all over the ribs. Now that they're glazed, we'll get them into the oven for five minutes. And if you want more creative recipes like this, remember to subscribe. We're gonna go on to the top rack because that's the hottest spot in the oven. After five minutes, you can see that the glaze is already caramelizing. So it's time to give them another coating of that glaze and back into the oven for another five minutes. Look how this glaze is caramelized and created a crust on these shore ribs. You can also see why it's a good idea to line that pan. Right when they come out of the oven, give them one more brushing of that pomegranate glaze for maximum flavor and that beautifully shellacked sheen. These are great to pile high and serve family style since they're so impressive with that long rib bone. Now give each one a good crusting of that pistachio and cashew duca. There will be a little bit left over, so serve that on the side if somebody wants to top it off with a little extra. Okay. Try and get a good amount of that duco with here for a little texture and flavor. Mmm. The pomegranate glaze is sweet and tart. Duca's crunchy with some of those extra spices. And the beef is so rich and tender. It's really intensely flavored from that roasting. It all goes together so well. You've got to try this recipe. Join us again next time here in the test kitchen at Certified Angus Beef.